Hello everyone. In today's tutorial, we're going to walk through how to use the reactor face swap extension with Stable Diffusion XL in Automatic 1111. As we've shown in a previous video, the Comfy UI Reactor custom node and how to use it to create animations together with the face swap feature, this process can also be fulfilling for Automatic 1111 users. In this example, I first generated an image in the text to image tab using the SDXL base model. Next, I'm going to set the hires.fix for image enhancement using hires steps 30. Scrolling down the page, you'll find a section called reactor. Essentially, it's similar to the old Roop extension where you drag and drop a face image. Uh, for the source of the face swap. However, it has more features to target multiple characters in a single image. In this example, I'm performing a simple one-person face swap. Ensure that you click the Enable checkbox and then click the Generate button. Now, as you can see, there are other options in the Reactor section. Most of these are for performing multiple character face swaps within stable diffusion image generation scenarios, which we'll explore later. Let's try one more time with a single character image in different outfits within the text to image feature. This time, I'm also using a different face swap image to highlight the differences. Done. This is how you perform a single character face swap using the reactor extension with text to image. In another example, we're going to experiment with face swapping for multiple characters. Go to the image to image tab and scrolling down, you'll find the reactor extension. I have a two person image for the face swap and the source image for the face swap. In this instance, we won't be setting any additional options within the reactor extension. We'll experiment with the image. Click on the generated image to view it at full size. And you'll notice that the left character's face has been replaced with the source image I use for demo purposes using image of Emma Watson. Now, what about the character on the right side? How can we perform a face swap for that character? We'll illustrate this with another example. I'm going to bring another image from my previous text to image generated results into the image to image tab. Here, we have another image to test. First, I'll perform a face swap for the left character changing it to Emma Watson's face. Then we'll bring this result back to the image to image tab again. This time we're going to perform a face swap for the character on the right side using an image of the AI girl Nancy as the face swap source. In the reactor, navigate to target image result, then set the number to one. The reactor handles face detection in the generation process and uses a numerical index for character faces, starting from left to right with Eero as the starting number. In our case, this would be zero for the flower dress girl and one for the blue dress girl. Since we want to perform a face swap on the blue dress girl, we'll set one in the target image option. In scenarios with multiple characters in a single image, it would be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. After configuring the target option, we click Generate. And there you have it. Both characters' faces have changed in the image. Again, for multiple characters, you'll use the target image option and set it to 1 for the second character, counting from left to right. So... This is the concept of using the reactor extension. Let's experiment with one more image. This time we'll perform a face swap for the character in the brown dress first, and then for the character in the green dress. The process will be the same, setting the width and height along with other sampler settings as needed. 
scrolling down the page and opening the reactor section will load the source image for face swap. Again, counting from left to right starting from 0, 0 and 1, we'll use 1 for the brown dress character. In the reactor section, we'll leave the source image option as 0, as there's only one face in the source image. Then, we'll set the target image option to 1 to identify the face we want to change, which is the brown dress character. Feel free to experiment with other options as well. After ensuring that everything is properly configured, we'll click Generate. Oh, sorry, I forgot to enable it. Let's try again. There you have it. Now, we'll move on to changing the green dress character. To do that, we'll take the generated result back to the Image to Image tab. Scrolling down to the reactor section will change the target image index number to zero. This time, we're using Jennifer Lawrence as a demo. Let's give it a try. Okay, looks pretty good. Let's experiment with slightly higher denoising. Great! There you have it, an image of Jennifer and Nancy enjoying a coffee. That's all for today's tutorial. In the next video, we'll explore face swapping for animated videos using Stable Diffusion Automatic 11 or 11, similar to the demo you saw in the YouTube Shorts video. Until then, I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.